<laughs> hey, hey! So, do you like polka? Are you wondering what polka has to do with eating, drinking, traveling, or running? Or especially what polka has to do with training for a marathon? Well, stick around. We have answers. We're talking about it today. <laughs> So as many of you know, we are training for the Walt Disney Marathon scheduled for January 2020. We are going to run our very first full marathon. Oh my gosh. And today is the end of week three of our training. That's right. So um, as usual, if you recall from our uh, training plan video, we, uh, we have two days of cardio a week, two days of strength one run day, and then two maybe flexibility, maybe right. nothing days. Right. Um, we can talk right now about the run. Um, so this was just a three mile run. So basically we're, we're adding miles every other week throughout this training program. So on the off weeks, we're just running like three or four miles. So today was one of those off weeks. We ran four last week, that was our first increase. We're running three this week. We'll do five and a half next week. Um, so this run was, uh, it was pretty basic. I don't think we're gonna spend too much time talking about it. So after our run, uh, our, our sweet dog, Millie, who was my first running partner when I first started running. She's too old to run with us now. She has some, some arthritis. Uh, so she took us for a little uh, cool down block after, uh, after our run, just around the block. She did a great job. Yeah, she's our coach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's our inspiration, yeah. really. But you know what's important? It's really important. Mm -hmm. uh, the country is facing an excessive heat wave mm -hmm. in various parts so always remember when you're training hydrate mm -hmm. plan accordingly if it's too hot outside mm -hmm. uh, don't do it uh look for options options right. speaking of which so we mentioned in our training video that you know most training plans will have you running three times a week yeah. and that's we have found not the most effective way for us to train. So we choose on the other run days to do other cardio. So what we're gonna do is show you what we did on Wednesday of this week. And we had a ball. We had a ball. It, it was, was a crazy workout. It was a crazy workout. And again, you always have options. And they can be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's Wednesday. It is. Wednesday is cardio day on our training schedule for the marathon. That's correct. Wednesday, historically, is also the day that we kind of don't feel like doing anything and we want to go out and be lazy bums. As a matter of fact, Siri reminded us that our favorite restaurant is only like eight minutes away. Yeah. Traffic is light. It knows what we like to do on Wednesdays, and that is go to this place and have some margaritas and have a good time. But we're training. We're training. We're trying to, you know, yeah. eat better right. and be better and right. stick to our training plan. So we found a good compromise, which is making a nice sensible meal at home, but taking it to our local brewery mm -hmm. where they don't serve food so we can take our own food Correct. and going out, having a few beers and having a lovely, healthy meal. Right, so that's but, what we did. But we still need to do our cardio for today. Now, while we were at this beer garden, at this uh, brewery, we were inspired. Inspired. So we've been, this one doesn't have like a live band playing or anything, but it is a nice German style right. beer garden. Right. Matter of fact, they have chairs and tables oh, yeah. that they purchased From the House. a Hofbräuhaus House in Munich. Yeah, so they we're look sitting really there familiar. And we're thinking. Yeah. So maybe for cardio day, since we have a couple beers in us, we got inspired by a German style beer garden. Right. Uh, maybe we should do some polka. Right. So. Hit it, fellas! In heaven there is no beer That's why we drink it here And when we are gone from here All our friends will be drinking all our beer La 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 Okay! So we did it. Run 
rounding up, that was about 30 minutes. It was actually like 26, but. It was 30 minutes. The way we feel, it was a good 30 minute workout. That was exhausting. Oh yeah. My hips hurt. I mean, not hurt, <clears throat> are burning. My calves are burning, my thighs are screaming. Yeah, that was quite my a workout. My heart is still racing. Oh man, all the stuff that you do that you don't normally do. <laughs> I mean, dancing requires all of these stabilizer muscles. Yeah. Man, I'm really, I'm, I'm really sweating. sweating. Yeah. All that over. That was great. All over. So, what did we learn? You don't absolutely have to go running no. on cardio day. No, you don't. You don't necessarily have to call it quits just because you went out and you had a couple drinks. That's right, because we you did. Can, you can come home and you can keep it going. <laughs> Uh, and finally, I don't know, you can find stuff that's fun. Yeah. That was a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, and was... now, sorry to interrupt. No, no. I talk a lot, apparently. That's okay. <laughs> now, when we go to a beer garden that actually has polka music playing, we feel a little more comfortable. Ready, ready. We're ready to go. We're ready. We can do this. Huh? Yeah, as a matter of fact, hit it, fellas. In the middle of this kind of beer. Oh. Oh. Yeah.